Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general love reading. We're going to see what's going on. This is for May 2021. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you want a personal love reading, check me out. Links are in the description box. You can also head over to my Etsy shop. Go ahead and favorite my shop, okay, while you're there. I have my personal readings there, my tarot, my oracle decks, and my spiritual jewelry. All right, Sagittarius, we're going to see what's happening. Also, I just launched my business course. So if any of you Sagittarius have a desire to start your online tarot YouTube business, okay, jump on it. It gives you behind the scenes. Um, I'm sharing you real life uh, data, okay, my analytics, telling you how I have the many different sources of income coming in, passive income, um, my business strategies, I'm sharing all that with you, secrets, tips, tricks, all that, okay, it's all in that course, so if you ever have a desire on starting a business, go ahead and check that out, all right, Sagittarius, um, your bonus reading is up on Vimeo as well for May 20th to the 31st, all right, it's going to look at your person's energy, how do they feel, what are they not saying? How do they want to move forward? And what's going on behind the scenes? I've also included some divine love messages, okay? All right, let's jump right into your reading. Sag, what's up, Sagittarius? How's it going? All right, what's up with Sagittarius and love? Clear messages for Sagittarius and love, please. Knight of Swords came out in the verse with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Definitely someone that you're not talking to right now. There was a falling out of some sort. Someone may be acting very cold and distant and detached right now. There's a lot of delays in this connection right now. There's, a, there's definitely um, miscommunication or someone refusing to talk, okay? I'm seeing that your person could be a little bit rude, okay? Or maybe you guys ended off on like, I don't know, a rude note. Maybe someone was very much like a little bit verbally, you know, not really friendly, okay? <laughs> I'm getting like some verbal arguments going back and forth. But there's definitely a lot of delay. Something is not moving forward right now because there's a refusal to talk. Nine of Cups, the challenge is to um, find your happiness again, okay? A lot of you guys, this connection is taking um, a toll on you, whoever you're not talking to. What happened in the past here? We have the Tower, the Tower, the Nine of Wands, and Verse of the Chariot. So I'm getting, this is the story here. Something happened. The Tower was a destruction. It could be chaos. Something happened in this relationship that just destroyed the integrity. I mean, I'm getting like some damage has been done here. And someone decided to just give up on it entirely. Okay, the Nine of Wands is someone not wanting to persevere, not wanting to fight to fix what they could have done to destroy it. Okay, I feel a lot of you guys, maybe you're avoiding this person or they were avoiding taking action towards you. Okay, um, taking real action, action that you needed them to take. I feel some of you guys, you decided to just go in a different direction. We got the chariot. And a lot of you guys, if you are moving in a different direction, you're going to be very victorious. There's something that is going to, uh, you're going to be able to achieve something. Because something's been very challenging. Whatever this connection was, the tower, it brought a lot of destruction, chaos to your life. But I see you going in a different direction. I see it really being good for you. On your mind, Sagittarius, is um, patience, temperance, okay? Sagittarius energy. We got the hermit, Virgo energy, and we got the two of swords. That's your energy right there, temperance. So two of swords, you guys are making a decision. This decision is definitely coming after spending some time alone, um, hermiting, doing some inner work doing some deep, deep thinking and reflecting. Some of you guys, you now, you have the time to just think about what you really, really want. I'm getting like, there's something here that maybe you've been ignoring, okay? And this is giving you some time to really um, think before you act, okay? Because there's something here that you are being incredibly patient about. Maybe you've been overly patient with this person, okay? But I feel like during the separation or this period where you're not really talking much or you're in isolation i feel a lot of you guys you are trying to make a decision okay there's some kind of decision that's coming out of it we're going to see what that's all about let's see what's ooh, in the foundation not taking all those cards what's in the foundation that sagittarius is not seeing or aware of we have the hierophant in reverse the magician in reverse and the empress i do feel whoever you are dealing with um they weren't coming to you with a real commitment okay this is definitely someone who 
could have promised you a commitment. They could have promised you that, you know, eventually you guys would get there, okay? But I'm getting, like, false promises. This is someone who could have manipulated you in some way, the magician in reverse. They could have been very deceptive, okay? They could have just... I'm getting, like, they, they told you lies, okay? This is someone who's a little bit of a trickster, all right? Um, something here wasn't going to be manifested with this person because their energy is just... I don't, I'm not really trusting of this this is something or someone that you probably don't even trust Sagittarius some of you guys you have a child with this person okay there was definitely an opportunity that was presented that could have been very much um you know something that you could have built upon okay if, if this person actually nurtured the connection let's see how they want to move forward with the empress energy what's this about the fool wow why is the fool card here i'm getting more information here the three of swords so i'm saying that your person is definitely realizing that you know they really hurt you deeply sagittarius the three of swords but they also want perhaps a new beginning a new slate this is someone who may want to come back to tell you oh you know i'm not the same person i've changed okay um this is somebody who they want you to take a risk on them. That fool energy, they could be very foolish, right, to think that. But this is someone who has definitely caused a lot of hurt. And they probably would be hurt if you decide to go in a new direction. Because this is someone who wants to come back in your life. And they're thinking about their empress. This is in their heart space. They're thinking about what you guys could have had. Um, it was worth nurturing. This is someone who still desires you with this empress energy. They look at you as someone that they're still attracted to. They feel like you brought them a lot. I'm getting you offered a lot more than this person offered you, Sagittarius. So it's not a surprise that they want to come back, okay? So let's see what the outcome looks like for Sagittarius and this person. We have the three of wands. Yeah, and the wheel. Look at this. Someone is waiting for their ships to come in. The three of wands, someone is waiting, waiting, waiting for their opportunity with you, okay? We have the wheel. There's someone who hasn't let you go. They want something to move in their favor. This is someone who wants you in their life and they're waiting for an opportunity to have you again. So let's get some more clarity. I'm going to destroy these cards. <laughs> I'm going to clarify everything as much as I can. Get you some more messages. Sagittarius, if this is your reading, please do give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. All right, let's see. The Nine of Cups. Someone could have been very selfish here with the Nine of Cups, overindulgent, doing whatever they wanted. And I think that's kind of why I made something had came to an end or wasn't able to move forward because they put themselves above everybody else, right? Above their family, their partner. They did what was convenient for them and not for the connection. So let's see. What, what's, what's up with that Nine of Cups? Why is the Nine of Cups? Could be a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. See, I think a lot of you guys... The, <laughs> The Knight of Wands in verse is definitely someone who's selfish, right? They come in when they want to. They leave. They don't tell you where they are. This is someone who's been very wishy-washy and in and out of your life for some time, Sagittarius. And honestly, like, they've been trying to play you. I mean, the Three of Pentacles in verse, some of you guys, it could have been a third party. But majority of you guys, their actions with this Knight of Wands in reverse, someone who says they're going to do something but never follow through, that has caused divisions. That has caused this to not be able to move uh forward okay this is someone that i'm getting that's why there's been delays here with the eight of wands and this is someone who says they're they're going to change but they never do now why is the knight of swords in reverse with the eight of wands in reverse so i feel a lot of you guys your person has been ignoring you or there's been some blocks because there's been conflict in the past i do see a person wanting to come in to say something about it there's an energy of feeling defeated about something that they could have done that five of swords is like, you know, it all, it just wasn't worth it. You know, the, the stress that, you I mean, it, it all just wasn't worth it. And your person has to learn to like, I'm getting, you guys are picking your battles with this person because this is someone who brings unnecessary drama to your life. And there's been something in the past here that, you know, they're still thinking about. And that is why perhaps they're coming in with this knight of swords all of a sudden after a period of not talking because they're feeling defeated. It was a lose-lose situation with the Five of Swords. You lost, they lost, they're not happy, okay? So it's definitely telling me that your person may come in because they haven't gotten over something that's happened in the past. And I think this conflict is something that they brought. So let's see what happened in the past. We got the tower. What the hell is this tower about? 
could have been dealing with the Queen of Wands. Um, this could be your energy as well, Sagittarius. Some of you guys, if this is your energy, they left you out in the cold. Okay, that Five of Pentacles, that was the tower moment. They betrayed you. They abandoned you. They all of a sudden disappear. They ghosted you. Now, why is the Nine of Wands in reverse? Someone gave up on something here. Okay, someone lied. Someone was dishonest, okay? With the Page of Swords in reverse and the Hangman in reverse, someone was very dishonest. And I think a lot of you guys, you knew this person perhaps wasn't telling you the entire truth. Some of you guys, you found out information about this person and it wasn't through them. You found out it by some other means, social media, another person, could have been an air sign or Pisces. There's something that you may have found out and yeah, they didn't want you to find out. I feel a lot of you guys, you're in that nine of wands and energy. You gave up on something and you decided to pick a different direction with the chariot to move forward. Yeah, and it was very difficult for you. The Nine of Swords came out in the verse. A lot of you guys, you know, these are nightmares. This is you stressed, frustrated, anxiety, worries. But we do got the temperance and a hermit. What's this about? Virgo energy, Sagittarius, it's you with the temperance here. The tower. See, a lot of you guys, you're overcoming. Whatever this tower was, you're overcoming it and you're moving forward. There's an energy of feeling like there was a missed opportunity here with the four cups, right? Because they projected, they didn't, you know, they rejected this connection. But a lot of you guys, I'm seeing that you are just, you're, you're being patient with this whole process. Some of you guys are really focusing on your healing. You're doing some spiritual work with the hermit here. And you're ready to make a decision. You're stronger than you think, Sagittarius. We've got the strength card. Some of you guys are connecting with the Leo. And this two of swords, a lot of you guys, there's a decision that you're making that's going to bring you some kind of balance or restore balance and harmony into your life with the six of pentacles. Because you've been dealing with someone who's been taking, taking, taking. And now you're replenishing yourself. You're giving to yourself. The temperance is like, you know, you're tempering your, your emotions. You are pouring into your own cup right now. Okay, you see with the, the young man, he has one foot in the water and one foot in the ground. You guys are finding balance within yourself. Okay, you're going within the hermit. You're, you're finding answers within yourself. And that's giving you strength of mind, strength, giving you wisdom, right? All right, courage. So let's see. Um, what's going on with your person? We got the Hierophant in reverse. Taurus, Gemini, um, the moon. Your person wasn't telling you something regarding a commitment. Some of you guys, they hid a whole commitment with you. Or there was some secrets regarding um, them. Not, there's something regarding them not being able to commit to you. And it was very, it was a secret. There was a reason why. And they didn't tell you exactly why. They just never offered you a commitment. Or some of you guys, they abandoned this commitment, okay? And there was some kind of secret relationship or secret seed. Secret, um, something that they kept a secret. Okay, there was something hidden from you, basically, is what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. And it's regarding a commitment. My palms got itchy. There's something regarding money for some of you guys, okay? What's this magician came out in reverse? The master manipulator. What's this? Yeah, the death. Death in reverse. I see your person now. It's like they want to turn things around, but they don't have the ability to. Okay, they're, they're powerless. They have no power over you, Sagittarius. You're powerful just by yourself. That death and verses tell me someone may want to come back and have a way with you, have a resurrection, a new beginning in their feelings and emotions. You got the Empress energy, the fool. This is definitely someone who's waiting for you. They're being patient. They're waiting for their Empress to come back. I don't know if the Empress is coming back. Sagittarius, I don't think they're coming back. Oh my God, my palm is itchy. What is going on? There's something regarding money. I'm going to keep saying that. <laughs> Yeah, you're the empress because you're, the empress is being clarified by the temperance. There's the energy of um, wanting a new beginning, but also fearing that they've caused too much hurt and damage with the empress. Empress coming out again. Some of you guys may have a child. Seven of Wands, because I feel like a lot of you guys, there's a block here. A lot of you guys are literally blocking this person from your energy, from your life. All right, you're protecting yourself. The Seven of Wands is like you're standing your ground. I mean, because this person really hurt you. You're blocking your heart because this person, you know, really affected you greatly. Um, so let's see what the um, three of wands waiting for the ships to come in, the wheel. There's something positive taking place, though. That's what I'm seeing. All right, let's see. Three of wands. Wow. The devil, Capricorn energy, and the eight of wands in reverse. I feel a lot of you guys, your person is mistaken if you're going to be the first 
person to communicate. They think that you're going to communicate with them. They think they're waiting for you to reach out, Sagittarius, but I don't think you're going to do that. I see you actually letting them go with the devil in the verse. Yeah, they're waiting for communication, page of wands. They're waiting for you. But they're, why is the wheel? There's something changing. Three of swords, the world's in verse, and the nine of wands in verse. Yeah, I'm seeing you guys moving in a different direction. That wheel is actually you being that force of change. You moving. I think you guys are giving up on the situation. It's caused too much hurt. A lot of you guys, the three of swords is also cutting ties, severing, accepting a loss is a loss. And, you know, not revisiting the past, the world in reverse. Not revisiting this past situation. Taking matters into your own hands. Not going back and replaying another cycle. And that is going to allow the wheel to move in your favor. That is going to allow you to get out of this cycle and stop repeating it with this person. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, there's been too much hurt, but you're letting it go. You're cutting ties. That's what I'm seeing energetically, whatever. So let me see. Um, What are some messages from this person? This is the unspoken love messages deck. We're going to see what do they want to say, but they can't Um, from their higher self, right? Let's see. Sagittarius is person. What's going on? If this resonates for you, check out your extended up on Vimeo, May 20th to the 31st. So we have... This is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I can go back in time. Okay, so yeah, it's too late though. Yeah, they, w they wish they can go back and reverse things, do things a little bit differently because now they can't have this new beginning with their empress, the fool. We also have, um, I have not given up on you even though I may seem like it. So this person is definitely still preying on you. They want to come back. They may be acting like they're, you know, they're cold. They're not communicating, but... Don't get it twisted. They're watching you. They haven't given up. Um, we also have, I feel ashamed for how I treated you. You did not deserve that. Okay? So, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you guys. You guys all take care. And I'll check you guys out soon. All right?